I'm the team leader for the Kentucky portion of the EBSCOR Track 2 grant. So the EBSCOR Track 2 grant is a capacity building grant. It's an interesting competition because we have to hook up with another jurisdiction. So we've got Louisiana State University and the Ag Center at Louisiana State. We collaborate a lot with other universities. Today's problems are so complex that we have to collaborate. And um, it's also fun. I really enjoy collaborating because we get to we get to know other people, but also um, there's a synergy there that isn't there when you're working sort of by yourself. They want us to have a program to mentor the young faculty at our joint institutions. This project provided a very good opportunity for me to start my research and build up my portfolio so that I can apply for future funding. And then, of course, we're, we're also um, training graduate students. What it really drew me to here is that the work that's being done here is just so different from what I was doing in my undergrad. So I work a lot with, with lignin. Uh, it's pretty complicated, but we can make a lot of stuff from it, which is really nice. Lignin is a really big, important component of plants. Um, so plants are really made of three things, and two of those things are sugars. Uh, but the third part is lignin, which is what I work with, and it really helps give plants their structure. Our lab developed a new process that uses ionic liquid, uh, together with catalyst and biocatalyst, uh, which we can convert lignin more selectively and more efficiently. So a lot of times in biorefineries nowadays, lignin is just burned as sort of a waste product for heat energy, but it turns out that we can actually make a lot of stuff from it. Uh, so if we figure out ways to make stuff from lignin, we prevent the burning of lignin, and then we can also add value to the biorefinery. When we develop processes, we get to see if they work for multiple crops and multiple regions. So that's good for the research side. So a lot of what I've been doing recently and sort of the first part of my project is doing a lot of preliminary screening of this particular form of an enzyme that I'm using. Um, so what that really consists of is sort of looking at the activity of the enzyme in a lot of different solutions that I'm going to be using. Essentially it's called a colorimetric assay and you pretty much look at the, the formation of a color over time. Um, so by tracking the formation of this color, uh, you can essentially know how much enzymatic activity you have in a solution. What I enjoy a lot of this project is uh, highly collaborative. Get the expertise together to study a big scope of how to can work lignin. Trying to make these, these key discoveries and move forward and seeing what we can find. Because um, there's a lot that we still don't know about lignin, so there's a lot that we can still figure out. <laughs>